God was an entrepreneur. He brought something out of nothing. He brought order out of chaos. And why did he do it? He did it not because he had to. He did it because he wanted to. He did it for the joy of doing it. Creativity, uh, it, was, it was just a joy to do. It wasn't a means to an end. It was the end itself. And, uh, you know, this, I think, is important because we're made in his image. And therefore, you don't really need a reason to create or to start something new. You don't really need a reason. Because God, well, we'll talk about what God's reason was, but there's a, sense, there's a sense in which God did not have to do it. He did it for the joy of doing it. And when you and I uh, know we're made in the image of God, it shouldn't surprise us that for a lot of us, especially those who are gifted in this particular area, we do it because we're just reflecting our creator. And that's the reason why you've got a place like this. This is from uh, Exodus, and it's from chapter 30. One, I think it is, yeah. Uh, Exodus 31, verse 2 to verse 4. And this is the place where God is talking about creating the tabernacle. The tabernacle, by the way, and this is another subject, and I won't even get into it, but uh, the tabernacle was essentially a world. It was a world with God at the center. It was beautiful. The temple was the same way. It was a beautiful thing, but it was really God's way of saying, this is the universe the way it ought to be, Uh, with me at the center and everything beautiful and everything holy. Uh, and when the tabernacle was being built, the people who built it were given specific, were given a special uh, anointing with the Holy Spirit, which is God's nature, to bring that creativity into their lives. And this is what it says, Exodus 31. It, God says, See, I have called my name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise cunning works, to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones and to set them in carving of timber to work all in a manner of craftsmanship. Uh, to be a craftsman, to make something beautiful, to, to create artistry, took more of the Holy Spirit. Isn't that interesting? Why? Because the Spirit is the nature of God and the substance of who God is. And in a sense, God put more of his lifeblood, more of his DNA in these people, and they turned into creatives, because God's creative. By the way, that's got to make a difference. Look, I know people say, look, I, uh, I try to separate my faith from my work, or what I believe from my work. But if you believe what Bertrand Russell says, that has to have an impact. Uh, St. Augustine's entire book, The City of God, is about the fact that there are two cities, he says, in the world. There's the city of God and the city of man or city of the earth. And he was actually, of course, comparing Christianity to the Greco-Roman world at the time. And he was right about this. He says the Greco-Roman world, its account of how the world came about, uh, is that the world came about basically through a power struggle. Because all the ancient pagan myths were the world is the result of a power struggle. And he says, therefore, if you believe that, that the world wasn't created by one God in peace and in love as a work of art just for the delight of it, if you think it was here because of a big power struggle, then you're going to, at some level, believe that that's what life's really about. It's about getting power. It's about getting a leg up on other people. It's about winning the race. It's about competition. And therefore, when you are an entrepreneur, if that's the, in the back of your mind or even in the kind of hinterground or if that's part of your kind of unconscious belief about the world, that it's here by accident, that it's really all a matter of power, that basically everything is a power struggle, why are you going to create? You're going to create just to be successful. You're going to create to make more money. You're going to create to get a name for yourself. You're going to create like the builders of the Tower of Babel created. They wanted to build the biggest skyscraper in history. That's entrepreneurship. Why? It says, Genesis 11, verse 4, let us make a name for ourselves. And so if your worldview is that the world is basically a power struggle, and you try to create, and that worldview is the only worldview you've got, you're going to be creating not because you want to, because you have to in order to compete, in order to get successful, in order to get a leg up. And it's going to be a drudgery. And you're not going to probably create in a way that helps people. So first of all, 
what the Bible says, because of the doctrine of creation is, that if you create, if you're an entrepreneur, you should do it, not because you have to, because you want to. Because you know you're made in the image of God. Because bringing order out of chaos and something out of nothing is a good thing in itself.